Alhamdulillah wa shukrillah, we've um, just uh, moved from Al Masjid al Nabawi, uh, the Prophet's Mosque, alayhi salatu wasalam, and we've arrived now at the Miqat point. Uh, this is the boundary marker point for those who want to perform Umrah from Medina Munawwara. This area is known as Dhul Hulayfa. It also is referred to as Abar Ali, radiallahu anhu. And uh, this is the sacred valley, Al Badha Al Mubaraka, as mentioned in the hadith where the Prophet ﷺ came here, especially we have narrations for his Hajjat uh, al-Wada'a, his farewell pilgrimage, uh, where he came with 124,000 companions, radiallahu, radiallahu an ajma'een, and arriving in this place, this is that boundary marker. Makkah al-Makarama, you see, ha is the court of the King of Kings. And so if you don't live in Makkah and you're afaqi, you're coming from the horizons, you have to adopt the ihram way before you arrive in Makkah al-Mukarramah. So where we are right now, if you were to travel that by car from where we are, from Dhul Hulayfa to Makkah al-Mukarramah, it may take four to five hours. So it's a great distance. And in the time of the Prophet, alayhi salam, they traveled for some 10 days. So you have these boundary markers. So for example, the people of Yemen, as they're coming from the south of, of Makkah al-Mukarramah, they're gonna to go to Yalamlam, Iraq, Dhat al-Irq, and, and different locations, Juhfa, for the people of Sham, the, the, around Makkah al-Mukarramah. So here in uh, Dhul Hulayfa, brothers and sisters who want to perform Umrah uh, from uh, Medina al Manawara, they will come here, they will uh, bring with them their ihram clothes, but if they haven't, alhamdulillah, there are shops available here, especially for our brothers, where they can purchase ihram clothing, the ihram belt as well. Uh, remember, the ihram is essentially two pieces of unsewn cloth, the rida, which is the upper garment, and the izar, which is the, the lower garment. And with the lower garment, once you've wrapped it, you're allowed to wear a, a, a hizam belt, a, a belt uh, for the ihram as well, to secure, but also to keep your valuables uh, with you. And then, uh, you will come here and obviously there's also wudu areas and facilities even the sunnah is to do ghusl so you'll find that in the wudu areas there are uh, cubicles for people to perform uh, ghusl as well this is the sunnah of the Prophet alayhi salam, to be perfumed as well before going into the state of ihram so there's the toilets which are located down that side and to the left and as you can see behind me this is the masjid of Dhul Hulayfa once you have uh, uh, done your wudu, wudu or preferably ghusl You've put, uh, put your clothes on. Again, you haven't still gone into the state of ihram yet. Once you've done that, you're going to come into the Masjid of Dhul Hulayfa, where we are right now. You'll pay, pray two raka'ah of nafal uh, for, for the ihram, uh, reciting Surah Al-Fatiha in the first raka'ah, followed by Surah Al-Kafirun. And then in the second raka'ah, you'll recite Surah Al-Ikhlas, uh, Surah Al-Fatiha, followed by Surah Al-Ikhlas. And the idea there is it, it mirrors the shahada, this negation followed by affirmation. So Surah Al-Kafirun is a negation, lakum dinakum wal yadin, to use your religion to us is ours. And Surah Al-Ikhlas is a confirmation, kul huwallahu ahad, say Allah is one. And this is the son of the messenger. And once you've essentially performed those two rakah and nafal, you then make your intention for the Umrah. It could even be the Hajj if, you would, if you're doing the, the Hajj from here. This is where we came uh, with our intention to do the Hajj. Uh, you may be doing it in a person's name. You'll mention that in your intention. And then after that, you'll start the, the Talbiyah, the Labbaik. Allahumma labbaik, labbaik la sharika laka labbaik, inna alhamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk, la sharika laka. And that talbiyah is essentially the response to the adhan for the hajj that Ibrahim was instructed to make some 4,000 years ago. So inshallah, let's go see the process now inshallah. So alhamdulillah, once the um, pilgrims coming for Umrah or for the Hajj, of course, have performed their ablutions, performed their ghusl. They will enter into the Masjid of uh, the Hulayfa, where we are right now. The Qibla is clearly marked as well in that direction. And you can see uh, they've coming in, in here and as per the Sunnah of the Rasul, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they're performing two raka'a nafal uh, with Surah Al-Fatiha and Surah Al-Kafirun in the first raka'a and Surah Al-Fatiha and Surah Al-Ikhlas in the second raka'a. They're making their intention in whose name they're doing the, the Hajj or the Umrah. For those of us who have performed more than one, the scholars allow that you can nominate in whose name you do your second Umrah or your second Hajj and so on and so forth in. So they'll be making that. They'll be making sincere du'as to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
uh, to make it easy. Yasirhu li, to make it easy for me, fataqabbalhu minni, and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts it from them. It's a deeply spiritual and moving place, of course, because there's a lot of thoughts going through the pilgrims' minds at the moment. Um, no doubt of anxiety as well to make sure that the manasik, the rites of the Umrah and the Hajj are performed correctly. And what of course is incredibly special about the place that we are in right now is that this is of course where the Prophet ﷺ himself came here with the Sahaba عنهم, making his intention for Umrah and Hajj as he came out of Medina al Manawara. And, um, and what's very special is that we have in hadith literature that the vast majority of the Anbiya alayhim salam ajma'een have performed the Hajj. But there is one yet to perform the Hajj and that one is Isa ibn Maryam alayhim salam. Jesus the son of Mary alayhim salam. May peace and blessings be upon him and his noble mother Maryam alayhim salam. He will actually also for his Hajj in after his second coming will come to Medina Munawara at the side of the Prophet alayhim salam leaving from Medina Munawara, entering this Al-Badha Al-Mubaraka, this blessed valley where we are in right now, he will too perform his ghusl, pray his nafal here. Can you imagine the scene? Allahu Akbar. Pray his nafal here and then with the intention, go into the state of Ihram and then head to Makkah al mukarramah with Talbiyah being recited loudly by men. For our sisters, they will recite it uh, under their breath. And this is in preparation as you go closer and closer to the core of the King of Kings in Makkah al Mukarrama, Al Masjid al Haram, where the centerpiece is, of course, the Kaaba al Musharrafa. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept everybody's Hajj and Umrah for years and years to come, inshallah, those who will come and many, many more years, inshallah, of Hajj and Umrah from this place. It is, I can't begin to tell you, an incredibly special place you can feel the the blessings of the area that we're in and just to think about the greats who have stood here all those major companions that you can think of and how sweet it is that on the final pilgrimage of the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, the vast majority of those that we call today sahaba companions actually became companions sahaba of the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, when they accompanied him on his farewell pilgrimage from this very location from Medina Manawa to Dhul Hulayfa and then making their way 10 days to Makkah al Makarama. It's incredibly special. Remember what a Sahabi means. It means somebody who in their lifetime, they saw the Prophet والسلام, his blessed face. They believed in him and they died on that. So just think about the sheer number, 124,000 companions. And that's not a coincidental number. In this area, just imagine the scene, 124,000 companions عنهم, around the Prophet That is the exact same number of the number of Prophets. And Allah certainly loves that number. We love that number. And I'm just trying to picture, picture in my mind what that scene would have looked like here. And I'm also trying to picture in the future, what will that scene look like when Jesus, the son of Mary والسلام, comes here, Allahu Akbar, to perform his nafal, to go into, with the intention to go into the state of Ihram. And can you imagine, Jesus, the son of Mary, alayhi wasalam, from this place, starting the talbiyah, la baik Allahumma la baik. What a glorious scene. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq to see that day. We don't know. We pray that we get to see that day. And if we don't, what a wondrous occasion that would be. Allahu Akbar. Mm -hmm.